Sean McCormack again and uh, this is episode four. Anyway, um, yeah, I've done two or three things which are kind of rolling over as the edits come in. Um, so I did a walkthrough of the nightclub which I will show pending managerial approval. I got to do the edit. One of the DJs has sent me music that I have to listen to and see if it'll fit and cut to that. Uh, so that's done. So what I want to do in this one is I want to talk about my man bag. I know, I know it's a bit of a rough subject. But what it really is, it's just a bag that I keep stuff in that I'm using. So I went for a small bag for cycling, something that I can sling easily. So, um, but before that, I'm going to show you something that's going to replace something in the man bag. And that's this parcel that I picked up from the mail center. Now, my postman, like a lot of other people's postmen, likes to write notes and put them into the post box and not deliver the parcel that he has there, even though there's somebody in the apartment and we're on the ground floor. Okay, so, so it is a cutie little box. So, just a plain box, but it's got a little me on the front of it. So, open it up as you do. as you do so it's a bit like the old 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 macbooks it's white so what this is is uh, i think it's pronounced ziaomi and so it's the me so it's the power bank it's a uh, 20,000 milliamp hours in big writing but it's 12,700 milliamp hours in small writing so that's the real real power but it's still had an awful lot of power um, so the handy thing about that is that it can power, it'll actually power the XT2. It'll power uh, iPads, iPhones, Android devices. Uh, some of the toys I have in the bag, it will power as well. So we're just gonna go through some of that stuff. So I'm gonna show you the bag. This is replacing something in my bag, which I'm gonna talk about when I pull out of the bag. So I'm delighted to have this now. It makes me feel like uh, my mobile office is complete. So, uh. Here's my bag. It doesn't come with these lovely reflective stripes. My wife put them on for when I'm cycling. I know you're looking at me and you're going, you don't cycle, I do cycle. So, the key thing to the bag, obviously for a mobile, obviously you need to have a computing device. And with a bag this small, it's obviously gonna be an iPad mini. I do have an Android Galaxy Tab 3. Um, so, just in case you think I'm just being like a fanboy, but I just genuinely prefer um, using iOS for this stuff. So this came with a case like that. Um, it's fine for playing Civilization, but not so much for doing office work. So I'm just gonna shove it out of the way there for a second. And that'll bring me to the next thing that's in the bag, which is this. That's a really cute diary, isn't it? Well, it's not a diary. It does have something with a case though. So let me just show you the case. Flip off the case, right, flip it put it down on the desk, grab the iPad, and put it on the desk comfortably this way. Now my iPad does have a case that lets you go at this angle, but it tends to fall over at that angle. So that's the start of that for seeing the screen. So what's the other thing? Well, it's a keyboard. Not quite full size, very, very close. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, it's very, very comfortable to use because the keys are quite large, so you can do a bit of typing on it. It does a Bluetooth connection, so as you can see here, by double tap and escape, it calls it up. And let me just uh, press some buttons here, and it opens up my iPad. So what I tend to use with this is Google Sheets and Google Docs. Uh, because I write for Photoshop User Magazine, or Lightroom Magazine, as, as to be specific. I, and I write for Photoshop, uh, not Photoshop, for Digital Camera World and I do a couple of articles for Digital Photography School as well, uh, as well as writing for my blog, as well as writing my own eBooks and books. So having something like this means that I'm able to use Google Docs and have anything I write appear on my computer at home, this computer here, any device that I'm logged into Google Docs with. So it's very, very handy. So again, same for Sheets. And uh, so I'm able to enter stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm looking at a program called Light Blue for doing my studio management and generally looking after all my stuff. And I have a feeling that I'll be able to detect entry from this as well in it, again, making a kind of a complete mobile office. So this was 14 pound on amazon.com, amazon.co.uk to be precise, um, but it's gone up slightly. So it's a daffodil, 
uh, foldable keyboard. Now there's plenty of foldable keyboards. When I was looking, this just had the best combination of value and price, especially price, because like I say, it's supposed to be 30 quid. And uh, so I got it for 14 quid. Bargain, love it, love it. Okay, so what else is in the bag? You might say, well, obviously for powering them and keeping them going when you're like away from power, which you know, if you're out and about doing stuff, you tend to be. This is what I got originally. It's a different brand of power bank. And although it claims to be 50,000 milliamp hours, there's actually written on the back here, you know, 50,000 milliamp hours, but it's not. It's about maybe 10, if I'm lucky. But even at that, I've actually found that it's not particularly efficient. Sometimes it won't even charge an iPhone fully. So even, this is after repeated use, where it's, you know, it's supposed to build up the power after a few usages, but no, it doesn't do it. In fact, just throwing down the bottom of the bag is this one, and this one is 2,000 milliamp hours, and I swear it actually lasts longer than that. Now, if you look at it, so that's about one battery. That's probably about five or six batteries. So it's not going to be 50,000 at that size. So. Um, what else is in the bag? Well, I am a photographer, so now that I have the X-T2, the X-T10 has become my in-the-camera bag, so I just kind of throw it with me. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of the grip for using with this um, because it's just extra weight in the bag and extra size. I have some little velvet pouches and I'm going to throw it in a velvet pouch instead. Still undecided, do I bring the 35 or the 18 with me? I might even buy a 23 just for that. So it's kind of emulating the X100 kind of vibe. So that's there. Now, so this is my out and about bag. So I do have a multi-tool in it that I got from Lidl. So it's got a pliers, screwdrivers, you name it. It's even got a little adapter so you can put in, you know, Allen keys and various different size bits and bobs. So that's really, really handy. But it was six euro, so like, and I've had it for years, so I'm delighted with it. There's also a bit of padding from a camera bag, so I just have that stuff down the bottom because the actual bag doesn't come with such a thing. Now, I do have a little Cree torch in here as well, so and that's one of those things with the multi angles or multi jobs. It also zooms as well, but that was six euro on dx.com, so it was a bargain because I have spent 50 quid on a lead lenser that's now bust, so. Six quid, thank you very much. Now I generally have pens and stuff like that, but I pretty much cleared out the bag of other stuff. So just checking there's nothing else in there. So this bag does fold up and you can put the strap back in the pouch here and clip it off. There's also a sling that can sling to either side, which is really, really handy. I just have a handle. So that is my man bag, which is kind of my, my mini office, my mobile office bag. So uh, I was just gonna talk about that but I am actually gonna talk about this as well. So this is the Osmo Mobile, and I know I keep mentioning it, and the Osmo Mobile is part of the reason why I started doing these things in the first place. But what it is, is just that I've always wanted to stay, I hate it doing video, because on the phone it's not stabilized, to stabilize it. But it lets you do 180 and 330 panels for photographs, long exposures, HDR, and obviously video, and then now, I haven't been able to find if you can do time-lapse directly in it, but you can do time-lapse on the iPhone Photos app, and we'll let you do time-lapse. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have been doing with that. So I'm going to include the time-lapse video that I've just shot, and I'll stick in one or two of just the test panels as well. So I am looking forward to using this in anger for those situations as well, and a couple of longer exposure things as well, maybe. Now, I need... Um, I do need to get the tripod adapter for this to fit it off, so. But yeah, so here's a couple, here's the time lapse. All right, okay, and I shall see you in the next one. Hey guys, so I'm just out with the DJ Osmo. Got my son off to Cubs and, and down by the river, so I'm playing with time lapse and stuff like that. It's been rather fun playing with it with the time lapse. Yeah, it's not exposing my face really well. That's better. So, I'm uh, down by the river, so I'm just gonna show you the river. So the sun is kind of sitting over there. Nice to shoot some ordinary stuff with that. I'm just gonna move across here and just the fisher's field across the way there, fisher's board, and the weir. And up there, up to the here, where the Cloud Princess is. So I'm just after doing the time lapse up there. 
I'm gonna try that time lapse in here as well. I've also been doing some panels with the gimbal as well. It's been actually really, really cool doing them. So they turn out really great. I just have to figure out how to get them as 360 panels on Facebook though, that's all. I am loving this gimbal more and more and more the more I use it. So this is just a, a walk down by the river, heading up to the pier where the car princess is. Now the time lapse is moving slightly faster than I anticipated when I was actually doing the walk. So, and the great thing is using the gimbal to kind of turn, so turn into the sun quickly here. And then I've just tacked onto the end here a quick panel. I learned how to do Ken Burns in Premiere just now. Easier than I thought. So that's doing stuff with the gimbal, with the DJI Osmo Pro. Signing off from the house where I've been doing the editing. And see you in the next one.